learn the skills if you learn the skills you will have a lot of demand even sometime i try to hire someone to work on my project but i can't because i don't find that kind of skills on those developer so far i have taken hundreds of interview but very few of them i found that they know exactly so why should i hire someone if i have to tell everything like him this is how you have to do why i'm going to hire someone all of you welcome back to yet another video so in this video i'll share my personal tips which I use in my day-to-day -day life when I'm working on any project and how you can save your time because I can see that a lot of you are a new developer, those who are interested in Web3 blockchains and they want you to know that what is the right step to learn the thing faster and what you have to learn to get valuable in the industry. You can't learn things randomly. So you have to be very picky. You have to understand the demand of the industry. And on the basis of that, you have to learn the technology. So before I go further in this video, I just want you to ask yourself, few questions that why you want to learn this particular technology how you see this particular technology because a lot of you have this confusion that web3 is good or bad should we focus on web2 development back-end front-end building a front-end developer back-end developer working on one company or some of you want to take a switch in the field of web3 so is it a good field or not so i'm not going to talk about that whether you have to pick or not because i've been in this industry for the last four years and i'm getting my bread and butter so there is a work, that's why I'm getting, otherwise why why anybody would hire me to work on the project, to work in the company. I hope you guys got the point. So first you have to ask this particular question, that what is your respect in terms of this particular technology? That what do you think? You heard a lot of noise around yourself all the time from different YouTubers. Maybe you have read articles, see a couple of tweets. They talk about that Web3 is depreciated. Before you start focusing on their point of view, you have to make your own point of view. That to how you look at this industry. In the very first place why you thought to learn about it so you have to ask all of these questions so before you make any decision i'm not telling you to be totally in web3 is totally up to your choice because you're going to give your time you're going to spend your time learning the technology you're going to do your research you're going to apply for the job you're going to approach the developer who is in this particular field if you got stuck so it's your work i'm just making this video to let you know that how you can save your time and to make faster decision so if you're a complete beginner first you have to ask yourself that which path you have to take whether you have to go in the web2 space like learning the web development front end back end or just just give me a moment what happened to my light so finally i got the light so where i was so i was talking about the time and the season so you have to ask yourself like i'm here to help you i'll make these tutorials where i build different apps i wanted to teach you i wanted to make this tutorial but ultimately you have to make the decision that what particular project you want to build when you want to include in a portfolio which industry you are targeting so on the basis of that, you have to build your learning curve. So if you're an absolute beginner and if you are interested in Web3 development, then you have to give time. You can't learn anything in 15 days, 30 days. I can see a lot of reels comes in my feed. They say that spend 15 days and you will master in JavaScript. Spend 15 days in front end, solid smart contract, back end, app development. They talk a lot of things. They talk about the packages which you will get if you learn those technology in 15 days. If that's the case, then why we have so many colleges? You have to be critical. Okay. If that's so easy, then why we have so many college? Why we spend four years of time in our university learning the technology, learning the skills? It takes time. It takes time. You have to be practical. You have to know your boxes that where you are, what level of skills you have. Then you can expect that what amount of salary you will get. So if you are an intermediate, you know a little bit about the technology, that how things are working, then I would suggest you start focusing on the industry, start applying for the job and internship. In Web3, very few companies are eager to take you in the company as a fresher. If they will take you, they will not allow you to work on the project. They will give you the side stuff. You will not actually learn, but it's good. At least you will get yourself introduced into the industry. You will have an idea that what is exactly happening, what kind of project they're building, what kind of protocol they're using. On the basis of that, you're going to increase your skills. You're going to learn. So if you are intermediate and if you've got internships, make sure to work, take that internship. Try to understand that what exactly happening because I got a lot of feedback from all of you guys that you guys have joined the internship, but they're not giving you the project. You are just handling the sites work. You are not learning exactly. I don't, don't focus on that. That's happened to everybody. Those who are just step out into the industry, that's happened to everyone. So your focus should be to learn about the industry, that what is actually happening. And on the basis of that, you have to make your decision. Right now, we can see a lot of startups are getting less funding. It doesn't mean that the technology is not good. So you're going to learn things on the basis of the funding of a company. <laughs> that's totally bullshit. 
I don't know why they talk about these kind of things that companies are not getting funding, so you should not focus on the technology. What kind of argument is this? Like maybe they don't have a proper business model, business architecture. That's why they're not able to prove and bring a real value to the investor. And that's why they're cutting off the cutting off the funding. So you have to be critical. Don't take anyone's opinion just like that. I want you to highlight that you have to work on your portfolio. Learn the skills. If you learn the skills, you will have a lot of demand. Even sometimes I try to hire someone to work on my project, but I can't because I don't find that kind of skills on those developer. So far, I have taken hundreds of interview, but very few of them I found that they know exactly. So why should I hire someone if I have to tell everything like him? This is how you have to do. Why I'm going to hire someone? Obviously, I, when I'm spending my money, when I'm spending my time, I need someone good. So who can build everything on behalf of me? If I'm not there, he can know how to handle the things. So that kind of developer I need. So that's exactly what happening right now in the industry. There is a lot of work, but there is a supply. There is a very less supply, very less supply, to be honest. If you are good, definitely you will get a job and internship. There's a lot of demand. There's a lot of demand. So if you're a complete beginner and if you really want to learn blockchain development, so here I would say that you have to focus on JavaScript very much. And the reason why I'm telling you to focus on JavaScript rather than Rust and Python or any other programming language, because it will help you to get into the industry very fast. So if you learn JavaScript, you can easily be able to manage already. You can easily be able to manage any JavaScript framework. Even you can focus on the backend part because right now we can write backend code using the JavaScript program language. So that will faster your entire learning process. So I would say that you have to give at least two months in JavaScript. Try to understand every single thing which is there that how things are happening. Focus on the data structure as well in the JavaScript because once you learn one thing properly, everything will become very easy, very easy. Because Solidity is very easy once you understand the JavaScript. They have the same structure, same function call, same if else statement. You will have 180% is exactly the same. All you have to do is to focus on the 20% where you have to know how we can define the variables, update the variables. And that's very, very easy. So focus on JavaScript. To be honest, focus on JavaScript. Don't try to think too many things because I believe that the condition you are right now, you are really eager to learn something. That's why you're watching this video. That's why you are looking for more information. So don't try to follow anyone blindly. Try to pick those who are in this particular industry for long, what they're exactly doing, what they're talking about. And on the basis of that, you have to make your own analysis. If I'm telling you to learn, it doesn't mean that you have to focus. Maybe you have your own strength, your own capability. On the basis of that, on the basis of that, you have to decide that what kind of caliber you have, whether you can able to put that kind of effort which is needed to be consistent in this industry. You have to know yourself that what kind of efforts you can put, how fast you can learn, how long it will take, and you have to be consistent. So give time, definitely things will come your way and try to apply for the job and internships along the way of learning. So if you're learning something, it doesn't mean that you have to sit at home and then focus on the interview. Just give mock interview, give mock DSA test. So there's a lot of websites where you can go and you can test your skills. If you talk about the JavaScript, give mock interviews. So again, the final conclusion I want to make is that you have to know yourself and don't try to take the information randomly from here and there. Do your own analysis. On base of that, you have to make your step. Don't try to listen to someone who have a background music like ding, 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 and he's just saying a few things very quickly that this is bad. Because right now, it's very fashion. If you want to get like view, you have to criticize that. Okay? There is tons of videos I can see. They're criticizing, but they're not giving any valid point. Recently, I came across a video where they talk about that they got the less funding because of that. You don't, you should not learn the technology. What kind of argument is this? One day you will earn less money. Like from your job, you will say that they're giving me less money. So I will quit my job. <laughs> what kind of argument is this? Okay. So you have to understand the demand. You can, you have to understand the nature of the, of the, of the technology you are learning and what kind of future it holds in the future. Okay. That's a good line. What kind of nature, what kind of future it will hold in the future. So you have to understand about that. So that's totally my point of view. You may have your own opinion, own thoughts. And I do appreciate that, that you have that. So in that way, what will happen that you can able to take better decisions. So never ever try to follow anyone blindly. Do your own analysis before you make your final conclusion and take your step. That will save you a lot of your time and that will take you ahead in your career along the way. So with that, I'm in this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.